Hi, welcome. Uh, it's Michael here. We're going to be diving into the Competitive Edge Intelligence Briefing for November. So uh, let me just flick my camera over and then join me. So we're going to be going through the Competitive Product Roadmap, the SaaS edition for November 2025. So this is basically an overview of what products that the industry is building. So very exciting. Um, and the way we basically compiled this is looking at hiring signals as number one. So on the basis of firms are either ramping up hiring and we're looking at particular job descriptions in there that they're hiring for. Um, we're also looking at um, trends in terms of if they're downsizing departments or upsizing particular departments in particular areas. We're also looking at R&D signals. We're looking at some of the change logs that companies are making, which is a, a, a cold kind of um, industry in itself. We're looking at technology stack tracking. We're also looking at analyst validated launch forecasting. So that's basically what we're focused on here. This is the executive summary. If you want the full report, just click on the link on the description, and then that will take you to the full report, which you can download free. So what we've, we've basically seen is that um, between Q4 this year and Q3 next year, that global SaaS vendors will accelerate towards AI native product architectures vertical market tailoring, and then low friction ecosystem extensibility. So those are basically the three core areas where we're going to see an acceleration based upon those forward-looking signals around hiring, around R&D, around the, uh, some of the change logs we're seeing, how the tech stacks are moving within actual companies. Um, and essentially, we've analyzed over 1,300 data points from Crunchbase, many other sources, and that's basically indicating that more than 62% of the top funded SaaS firms are now reallocating their capital from customer success tooling to embedded AI data connectivity and modular workflow orchestration. So we've actually seen that, and that's statistically significant that that move is occurring right across the SaaS industry. And there's basically three leading product innovation themes that you need to be aware of in SaaS. Number one, AI co-pilots and workflow assistance. So across productivity, ERP, CX platforms, 2026 is going to mark the inflection point from AI as a feature to AI as fabric. So 52% of observed job postings now embed Gen AI, co-pilot or retrieval augmented generation within the product role description. So that's a massive uptick. So this is going to be foundational. Secondly, Verticalized SaaS platforms. So vendors are pivoting from horizontal functional stacks to domain specific clouds. So think of legal tech, health tech, ed tech. So they're going further into the vertical. So this is not something that has just been occurring for a little while. This is basically be it being a trend to serve the niche in a lot more detail to really think about what data occurs within the niche and to serve the niche a lot closer. So what we found in Crunchbase. Um, the fat funding rounds show that 30, there's a 37% year-on-year rise in Series A and B investments, which are tagged vertical AI led by VCs uh, such as Insight Partners and Acel. The third one is around the ecosystem extensibility and API monetization. So what we saw was 41% of recent product announcements reference open AIs, low-code SDKs, or marketplace monetization. So vendors are increasingly treating platform APIs as revenue assets in order to basically monetize that play. So our, our overall viewpoint for November 2025 for the SaaS edition for product roadmap is that the SaaS differentiation is shifting from feature velocity to anticipatory intelligence. And that's basically the ability to preempt the user needs before they articulate them. Think about that in terms of level of customer success. So firms capable of linking data feedback loops, model transparency, and also domain context, they are the ones that will seize an out, seize outsized share over the next 12 months. So those are the things for your product teams to be focused on, to be thinking about if you're focused in on SaaS. Like I say, if you want the full copy of the report, just click on the link in the bio, download it free. Uh, there's no charge. It's something that we, we do this free every month. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this and I'll see you the next one. Thanks again. Bye.